Hello dear students, welcome everyone once again to our English to classes. In our last class we have discussed about the adjectives and its degree of competition. As we have learned that in adjective there are three degrees of competition. Those are positive degree, comparative degree as well as superlative degree. So the exercises which are based on this topic we will try to solve it now. Okay. So students, I want you all to be ready with your book and copy. Take your book, copy as well as pen. Okay. We'll solve it while watching the video. Okay. So prepare yourself. So dear students, here is our question. Write the comparative and superlative degrees of the following adjectives. That means you have to write the comparative as well as the superlative form of the given adjective. So here I am showing you the examples of only three questions. Rest of the question you have to try it by yourself. Okay. So let us start it. First you have to start with positive. First write positive. How I am writing you write same to same. Then comparative. Then superlative. Okay. You have to write same as it is. Now, under positive degree, you write down. First question is tall. This is your first question. So, you write this word here. T A double L tall. So, what will be the comparative form of tall? Yes, it will be taller. T A double L E R taller. And the superlative form will be? Yes, obviously tallest. Isn't it? So, same way. Next number two, write wide. Question is wide. That means the question is given in positive form. So what will be the comparative form of wide? It will be wider and the superlative will be widest. Next, similarly, number three, that is bright. B -R -I -G -A -S -T, B-R-I-G-H-T, bright. Comparative form of bright will be brighter. And superlative form will be brightest. Okay. I hope so. You all have understood how to do the remaining questions. Okay. Now, I want you all to write down question number B. So, dear students, I hope so. Everyone, you all have written question number B. So, let us try to solve question number B. Here in this question, you are asked to do Use as, dash as and make sentences using the following hints. That means in your sentence you have to use as, dash as. That means what? In the dash, what will you do? As, dash as. Can you see the highlighted part? I have turned it into bold. Now here as, after writing as. Okay. Then you have to write the positive form. Whenever you are asked in the question to write as, dash as, that means you have to use the positive form. So the boy naughty a monkey. How will you write it? So the answer will be the boy is because here the boy is singular, isn't it? So along with singular subject, we use singular auxiliary. The boy is as then we have to write the positive form of the given adjective. So here the adjective is naughty. You have to identify the adjective. So positive form of naughty will be same. The boy is as naughty as a monkey. Okay. I hope so you all have understood. Now let's proceed to question number two. Sachin Bright, his father. That means you have to write this sentence using as, as, as. So what will be the answer dear students? Sachin is as bright as his father next now number three jyoti busy a b so what will be the answer jyoti is as busy as a b next number four vishal intelligent sham so it will be Vishal is as intelligent 
as Sham. Hope so. You are also writing along with me, isn't it? Next, number five. The last question, but not the least. Bhanu is as tall as Jia. So, we have completed our number B. Isn't it? I hope so. Along with me, you also have written the same answer. Isn't it? So, now, next write number C. Let us see number C what is there. Using the following is write the sentences in comparative degree. Now, number B you have written in positive degree. You have to write number C in comparative form. Okay, start writing the question. So, dear students, here is our question number C. Using the following hints, write the sentences in comparative degree. To write a sentence in comparative degree, you have to use the comparative form of the given adjectives. Isn't it? So, here in our question number 1, Suhana intelligent Tia. So, which is the adjective here? Our adjective word is intelligent. Okay. So, we have to write the comparative form of intelligent. So, let us begin the sentence. How it will be? Suhana is comparative form of intelligent will be more intelligent more intelligent remember dear students whenever we write any adjective in comparative form after the comparative degree of the adjective we use then if you don't write then it will be wrong okay so after the adjective word that is our adjective word is compared in comparative form it is more intelligent after more intelligent you have to write then t h a n then okay always then is followed by comparative form of adjective don't forget this swana is more intelligent than tia our answer is completed okay so same way let us do number two also tanu pretty swati which is the adjective here pretty so we have to use the comparative form of pretty tanu is comparative form of pretty will be prettier P R E double T I E R prettier than Swati. Okay. Next, air journey comfortable, train journey. Our adjective word is comfortable. What will be the comparative form of comfortable? It will be comfortable, more comfortable. Okay. From comfortable, it will be more comfortable. So, how will you write air journey is more comfortable what i said after adjective word that is after your comparative form what will you write then comfortable then train journey can you understand next gold expensive silver so adjective word is expensive what will be the expensive uh, sorry comparative form of expensive it will be more expensive so what will be the answer gold is more expensive than silver the last one today warm yesterday so what will be the answer of this i hope so most of you have given the correct answer today warm yesterday it will be adjective form uh, comparative form of warm will be warmer so today is warmer than yesterday okay so we have completed our number c i hope so there is no any doubt in question number b and question number c dear student if you have any doubt regarding any question you can message in the group i'll surely clarify your doubt now let us start question number d let me see first what is written in question number d use the following hints and write the sentences in superlative degree earlier in number a we uh, number b we have written in positive degree number c in comparative and now number d in superlative degree let us start So let's begin our question number D. In our question number D, using the following hints, write the sentences in superlative degree. 
you have to write the particular sentence given here in superlative degree okay so to write in superlative degree you have to use the superlative form of the given adjectives okay so which is the adjective here in this sentence adjective is large okay large is the adjective here so you will use the superlative form of large it will be largest yes now remember in your last question that is question number c what i said you after writing the comparative form of the adjective you have to use then now here before writing the superlative form before writing the superlative form of any adjective you have, you have to use the okay you have to write the t h e the before the superlative form of the adjective so let us begin our answer what will be the answer blue well is now you are going to write largest isn't it l a r g e s t but what i said you that before superlative form largest is the superlative degree isn't it largest is the superlative degree so before the superlative degree you have to use the isn't it so your answer will be blue whale is the largest animal on earth here your answer gets completed now next similarly number 2 Mount Everest high peak in the world so which is the adjective here high so superlative form of high will be highest so let us start our answer Mount Everest is now what you have to do before writing highest that is before writing your adjective what you have to write the because you are going to write it in superlative form is the highest peak in the world dear student do not simply watch the video while watching do continue your exercise also okay next venus hot planet in the solar system which is the adjective here hot so what will be the superlative form of hot yes obviously it will be hottest so let us start venus is the hottest planet in our in the sorry in the solar system next himani bright girl in our class adjective is bright superlative form of bright will be brightest so himani is the brightest girl in our class next last one jyoti good singer in our school so which is the adjective here good what will be the superlative form of good now most of you may think that warm warmer warmest clever cleverer cleverest so good will be good good or goodest but it is not so don't make this mistake okay good better best so comparative form is better superlative form will be best so what will be the answer jyoti is the best singer in our school okay so we have completed now number d okay so dear student note it down correctly do not make any mistake so dear student let us summarize what we have done today okay so as i said you earlier that whenever we have as dash as in our question as dash as in our question what we have to do we have to write it the adjective in positive degree okay p o s i t i v e positive degree do not make mistake okay we have to write always it in positive degree whenever we have as dash as in our question we have to write it in positive degree now next whenever our question directs us to change the statement or the sentence in comparative form that time after using comparative degree we have to what we have to do we have to write then after it after the comparative form of the adjective we have to write then after it after the comparative degree we have to write then next 
in superlative degree in superlative degree what we have to do we have to write the before the superlative degree okay what you have to do you have to write the before the superlative degree so what where, where will you write it you will write it here t h e the okay so i hope so it is clear to you once again let's repeat whenever we have as dashes in our question we have to write it in which degree positive degree and in comparative degree we have to use always then after it okay after the comparative degree we have to use then and in superlative degree we have to use the before the superlative degree okay now dear student i want you all to write next question that is question number f fill in the blanks okay dear students here we have our question number f in our question number f what it is said fill in the blanks with the correct degree of adjectives given in brackets that means you have to write the correct form of the adjectives given in bracket that means either it will be in positive degree comparative or it can be in superlative form now you have to decide in which form you are going to write it before starting the exercise i want to say you something that how can we identify whether it will be in positive comparative or superlative it is very important isn't it identifying the degree simply we cannot write in positive comparative or superlative we have to write it in correct way so what is the correct way of writing those okay so in in my last class i have asked you all to learn the table isn't it to memorize the table which is given in your book positive comparative and superlative form those who have memorized it completely they can easily solve it those who have not memorized it will be difficult difficult for them so students if you have not memorized till now please do memorize it okay it will help you all to solve the exercise now let us understand with the help of an example now to write a sentence or to use a degree suppose in your question number f it is fill in the blanks you have the blanks in the blank word you have to use either positive form or comparative or superlative now listen it carefully here you can see the blank okay you can see the gap okay after gap if you have the word then if then is given in the question after dash then in the dash you are going to use the comparative form okay comparative degree of the given adjective is it clear before then you are going to use comparative degree in your question if you have the word then after the dash then in the dash you are going to use the comparative degree of given adjective and in next case before dash before dash if you have the word the before dash if the is written then you are going to write it in superlative degree superlative degree okay so let us repeat once again before then you are going to write it in comparative degree after the you are going to write it in superlative degree and out of then and the that means if then and the both are not present in the question what you have to do then in that case you are going to write it in positive degree okay if then is given in the question you are going to write it in comparative degree if the is given in the question you are going to write it in superlative degree if then and the both are not present before and after the dash that time you have to write it in positive degree is it clear now let's begin our exercise here you can see in your question number 1 nilam is the dash singer in the school your adjective given is good that means you have to use either comparative or superlative form of good so here you see the blank it is the blank before blank what is given the before blank you have the what i said you just now if you have the before blank you are going to write it in which degree superlative degree so what will be the superlative degree of good good better best okay so you are going to write the superlative degree of good it will be best so nilam is the best singer in the school number 2 a giraffe is dash than an elephant 
here you can see after dash this is your dash after dash you have the word then if then is used after dash then in the dash you are going to write the comparative form of the adjective so what is the adjective given here tall so comparative form of tall will be taller t a l l e r taller next let's move to question number 3 Today it is dash then it was yesterday. This question is similar to the previous one. That means here also you have then after the dash. So similarly we are going to write it in comparative form. So what will be the comparative form of cold? Yes, it will be colder. C-O-L-D-E-R. Colder. Next, here in question number 4. See, this is the blank. Neither then is given after blank nor the is present before blank. That means then and the both are not present before and after the blanks. In this case, you are going to write the adjective in positive form. Okay. So what will be the positive degree of good? Same. It will remain as good. It won't, it won't change. Okay. Next number five. Vina has dash friends in school. Here also you see it is your blank. Neither then is present after blank nor the is present before blank. So in this case also you are going to use the positive form of many. So positive form of many will be same as many. Next number six. Your handwriting has become dash then it was earlier. Here it is the blank. After blank you have then. It means what? You have to write the given adjective in comparative form. So, comparative form of bad will be what? Don't think that bad, better, baddest. It will be what? Bad, worse, worst. Okay? So, comparative form of bad will be worse. W-O-R-S-E. Worse. She is dash than her sister. Here also you have then after blanks. It means you have to write the given adjective in comparative form. So, comparative form of smart will be smarter. S-M-A-R-T-E-R. -E smarter. Next, number 8. Deepa is the dash girl in school. This is the blank, dear student. After blank, you don't have then, but before blank, you have the. It means what? You have to write it in superlative form. So, superlative form of smart will be smartest. S-M-A-R-T-E-S-T. -E smartest. Next, this work is dash then that. Here, then is present. It means what? You have to write it in comparative form. So, comparative form of important will be more important. More important. Now, next. Today is the dash day of the season. Now, dear student, follow the blank. That means in every question, you have to follow the blank. Okay, after blank, then is not present, but before blank, the is present. If the is present, then you have to write in superlative form because we know in superlative form, the is written. So, cold. What will be the superlative form of cold? It will be coldest. C-O-L-D-E-S-T. Coldest. So, dear student, we have completed uh, all the exercises of this question. Oh, sorry, of this chapter. If you have doubt in any question on any number, okay, you can ask me in the group, okay, thank you.